Well, good Tuesday, folks. We dodged a big-time severe weather threat that has sunk off to the south by a lot across portions of Virginia and North Carolina. And you can thank those clouds as well as the showers that we saw throughout much of the day stabilizing the atmosphere. Although the threat of severe weather is still there this evening into the overnight hours, it remains isolated in nature now through about 9 o'clock on a scale of 1 to 5. We're running about a 1. In most locations, the area of concern I would have would be back across the mountains in Maryland, closer to the frontal boundary and also the south, where we did see a little bit more sunshine through the day. Still waiting on low pressure back across Kentucky and West Virginia. That's going to come up and over top of the area overnight tonight, but you can see further off to the south, Virginia, North Carolina, severe thunderstorm watches in place until 7 o'clock this evening. 7 o'clock here in Baltimore is actually relatively dry with mostly cloudy, cloudy skies. There's your showers and storms coming in during the overnight hours. Not a lot there. A passing shower left over in the morning early Wednesday and a couple more of those passing showers as we get towards the afternoon hours. Maybe a rumble of thunder here or there. Not looking at any severe weather concerns for your Wednesday or Thursday. Still pretty muggy overnight tonight despite a few showers. Temps back around 70. Some spotty storms in the afternoon. Staying humid though. High temps only topping out in the low to middle 80s in many spots with a little bit of sunshine. Temperature's not going to boost up all that much. 87 there in Easton, 81 in Ocean City. Thursday's forecast, same old song and dance for the Ravens, but by the time we hit that preseason game in the evening, things should start to dry out. We'll be drying out Friday, Saturday, and most of the day on Sunday before we introduce storms back to the seven-day forecast Monday and Tuesday of next week with highs in the 90s. Remember, you can download our free mobile app at WMAR2News, available at the Apple and Google Play Store. Also, look us up at WMAR2News.com and Facebook and Twitter for the latest weather and news updates. For now, I'm meteorologist Eric Taylor.